this recording session for God of War that we're starting today is the culmination of a lot of preparation. This is definitely the most complicated session I've ever put together. I'm gonna go get a sweatshirt. We should come in the other room while we can, huh? One of you here and one of you here. Yeah, How close do you need to be? Here, just duck under the microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to take a couple minutes to readjust where things are. I'm a little nervous about this session, just the number of variables. We've got a lot going on. Two actors at a time, we've got a lot of people gonna be at the session. We've got facial capture, we've got teleprompters, we've got all kinds of stuff. It's a new studio. There's room for error, but I like to think that I've nailed everything down before we got there, but I'm definitely, my breath's coming a little shorter today than it normally does. <laughs> we are moments away. What was it, Kratos? All I remember is what I have lost. That is why you should give me the power. I understand its true meaning. And My character, I like to think of her as she thinks she's doing something good, Kratos. but in reality, Do she's trying to take over the world. Kratos, she is the key to our revenge. I trust you to do the right thing, Kratos. You shouldn't. Kratos, I found out, is a piece of me that I kind of didn't know existed. It's kind of a dark side that it really is fun getting a chance to explore. I delivered your revenge on Zeus. My vengeance ends now. I owe you nothing! <laughs> When you have the other actor in the room, you're able to come up with a rhythm. It makes it more real. I really, really like it. It gives you a chance to play off of what the other person is doing as opposed to doing it by yourself. We're getting so much from, from this performance that we wouldn't normally get. I'm totally stoked about it right now. You owe me this, Kratos! I owe you nothing! Bravo. That's good? perfect. Well done, awesome. Excellent. That was it. That was it. I knew you'd come back. I've never worked with the prompters, and it's really freeing for the actor because, you know, you're looking straight ahead instead of always, you know, face down in the page, and it's really a cool experience. Find the labyrinth! Ah! Ah! Please help! Kratos! One of my favorite things to do is scream. I really I like it. I don't know why. Maybe, I, no, I don't know why. I saw Zeus torture my father. I just try really a simple approach to it. It's bringing those words into your character and actually thinking a thought before it. It makes it more real. They called me a monster. Beautiful. Natalie was new. We had never worked with her before. She was an ace. She totally knocked it out of the park. Many more variables than a normal voiceover session for a game today. And uh, it went very, very well. Very, I'm happy with how today turned out. It's phenomenal. <laughs> Phenom. That's all that really matters is <laughs> Stig is happy. And if Stig's happy, we're all happy. Who is Hercules? Well, it was me for seven years on TV, so this is a whole different look. I didn't quite have that look. I had, a, I had kind of more gear on, and I, I didn't weigh, you know, 4,000 pounds. This guy's, like, about 12 feet tall. They called them labors. Ha! There you that go. That was good. That was really good. Yeah. Kevin Sorbo was obviously an easy choice because he's Hercules, but not necessarily in terms of the way that he's played Hercules in the past, a little bit of a departure. Can we get, but this time, brother, yeah, more, more seething? But this time, brother, this time I will destroy you. That's good. In this game, he's a much darker brute. He's not the brightest light bulb out there, but at the same time, when it comes to war, he's brilliant. The direction is more pissed. Okay. <laughs> as pissed as you can get. The most valuable I can be is to take what the creator of the game has been imagining and seeing on paper for a long time and bringing it to, uh, to, to life uh, with, uh, with the voice and trying to find different ways to get to actors to, to achieve what he wants to do. Uh, try it. one thing, uh, if you would, Kevin. Yeah. Uh, take the breath after stables, and then you can finish off the phrase. <clears throat> okay. The most frustrating thing about doing voiceover is the amount of time you've got to do each line. You've got to repeat it, but you've got to also do it in so many different ways, so many different inflections, and you end up losing your voice. <laughs>
Have you not killed enough of your family? That's a good. good. That's very good. It was a slam dunk. He really brought a passion to the character. He was very professional. His voice was kind of running out. That's that's when he gave some of his best stuff. Yeah. Jacob, you been able to hear it. Fantastic. Beautiful. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. It wasn't the same Hercules, not even close to it. So it was it was a darker and more sinister person and more evil person to deal with and play. But, um, you know, from my standpoint, it was a lot of fun. It's the way to start. New Day recording, very excited about it. Today we're doing Rip Torn and Malcolm McDowell. The game's based on Greek mythology. This guy's like the Smith God. And he's Always like... Always the Vulcan. Yes, That's exactly. The, the Roman name for Hephaestus is Vulcan. He's the god of fire, and, and uh, he's a great blacksmith. The greatest thing you have on stage is the other actor. I don't get extra time for this. Thank you. They are entertainment, and they are movies, and you can get involved in it. It kind of gives you a, a semblance of what live theater used to be. When, when you had audience participation. Yeah, I kind of look like that. <laughs> Ghost of Sparta, it is you. Well, well, well. I thought Zeus would have killed you by now. Davis. Oh, I'm to see He's the inventor. He also created the labyrinth. Elaborate? Oh, wow. And where is the golf course? <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. Eat lunch with Malcolm McDowell. He can't be dead. The ice storm that, that will give me the power, the power to bring my son back to me. Where is my boy? That's awesome. <laughs> You was bastards! Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. We need hey, coverage, that we want to protect him with one more, please? Oh, we're not going to go protecting all these takes, are we? Yeah, don't we tell are. me we're going to do two fucking takes. Why don't you just use a bit of proper tape? You're going to... Why do we have to do two takes of everything? Well, because we... Not for protection. Yeah. Oh, come on. Let's, let's listen to it. That's let's nonsense. To it. Okay, we're going to listen to one line, be right with you. Okay. That's right there. You don't mind, right? Because it, it's really, if I'm in a jag and it's going, it's going. I hear you. Could we do the line to escape it, please, one yes. more time? Tell me what you need. The word catalyst had a little bit of a squirtle to it. OK. OK. When you're ready. OK. okay. To escape it, we must assemble it. Actors are so varied and uh, so different I in the way they work, and to find what that key in there is, and and uh, and unlock that door with them, and then be able to play is really a, 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 a challenge and and, and a kick at the same time. He he said that if I took the liquid fire and and then the sling, oh my boy, oh my child. You know, That's I actually great. Like that. That's different than what we thought. Terrific, thank you. I like it. Vengeance on the king of gods? You'll need a, an army of gods. Uh, and weapons, uh, of course, weapons. I, I could build that. Uh, I could use the fire of Hades. Wait, please, please wait. Free me. Free me from my torture. We're good, we're good. Thank you, Spot. Thanks, Barton. I say, Cheers, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I say, Squatter. We're not used to people coming in here and nailing it so, like, basically knocking it out of the park like this. So oh, really? we had more time. So well, no. I, okay. Well, listen. I, I just thought. Oh my God! I thought I had reams and reams, and I had to do everything twice. Yeah. And it was like, oh my God! If you've got it, you've got it, right? Right. Yeah, we got some great stuff. Great. Yeah. It's fantastic. Terrific. Good. With Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, to work with Malcolm McDowell and Rip Torn in the same day. Same day, yeah. <laughs> Pretty wild experience. Yeah. It's fascinating to me, too, the different acting styles, because uh, Malcolm McDowell is very much the Royal Shakespeare Company, and then it comes in, you know, word for word uh, like that. And, and uh, Rip Torn is more of the old actor's studio, and he's a little bit up and down and nowhere, but out of that comes a, a gold of its own kind. There's an extra level of dimension and texture that we got to them that's just through the the fact that they're they're fucking good actors now that we've gotten the recording part of it down 
um, my stress level has decreased a great deal. Now I you can have a glass of wine. Now I can have a glass of wine. But you are the reason I live in torment. He told me he would kill you. He can't. Perhaps he did allow me to kill the Nemean lion, but he made your name known amongst the people. A fierce warrior, a killer made a hero, a man made a god. But you, what have you done with my child? My boy, where is my boy? Your son is dead, Davis. My boy, my, my child, no, no, no.